Hi everybody, CyberRef here. I just want to speak on the subject of universal kingdom and universal living. We live in a world and our world is our minds and our thoughts. That's our world. And our world may not necessarily be aligned with the universe. And the universe very simply, if we look through the window and look at the sky and look at the, the light on a daily basis and also look at the night with the moon and the stars and the seasons. And if you notice Every day is something different, a different season or different weather forecast or weather. And this is done without any wanting control of it from world. No government, no politician. No pastor, no bishop, no priest. The universe operates completely of its own kingdom and its own power. You notice how the clouds are formed And they may be formed in that particular area. They may be misty and cloudy. Or clear and sunny. It may have rain. It may have snow. But the precision. The perfection. The accuracy. Of the weather of the creator of the universe is so consistent on a daily minute by minute hour by hour basis worldwide and yes there are droughts There are tsunamis, there are tornadoes, there are floods. But even with floods, as Kemet, they now call Egypt, the Garden of Eden, Afro, Africa, or Afuraka is the correct pronunciation. Afuraka. And notice the Ra in Afu Ra Ka. Because where on planet Earth could you have exotic animals, exotic fruits, and all the gold and diamonds and minerals, and learn to live on the Nile? There's floods and overflows. But in between, you learn to live and build huge monumental pyramids, storehouses, which today still stands. How could that not be Afaraka? 
Africa. Universal living of the universe is higher than living of religions and denominations that are man-made. We have to understand that the universe is far more important and is something that most people ignore and most people actually walk past in order to go to a wooden building or a stone building somewhere. They call religion, they call church, they call denomination. We have so many religions and denominations around the world and everyone wants to choose their religion and denomination as if by choosing that particular religion and denomination you are above every other religion and denomination. That is so incorrect. In fact, when it comes to the universe, it operates just like our bodies, 80% water, and we use energy and matter And every time we speak and every time we think, we're using energy and matter. That's why we have to be careful how we judge people. We have to be careful how we judge the calling of someone or what that person stands for just because that person doesn't stand for your religion or denomination does not mean that that person is sinful, uneducated, or bad. In fact, all man-made religions and denominations need to fall because the universe and the creator of the universe is someone and something we all should learn how to worship, give thanks for every day, align our minds, our soul, and our spirit with the universe, not with some bishop, not with some pastor, not with some elder, not even with our parents, our mother and father, our sisters and brothers, because there's what you're being guided to and told of the universe and the creator has given you your life, your mind, your soul, your spirit. What more can someone do when the creator has created you to only give back you to the creator or trust you with the creator not some lifestyle not some some nightclub not some fashion not some drug not some religion some denomination that they all argue and fight and divide like political parties when we look at major world religions You've got Christianity, which is man-made of white Jesus and a, and a donkey with sandals in Africa. With 12 white, pink disciples. And no one can find any remains of him. What a myth. What a deception. Two billion people are being deceived. Ignoring the universe, ignoring the creator, ignoring 
seasons, ignoring things that we can see from our window, our home, our bedroom. Two billion people. Islam. Muhammad couldn't read or write. Yet 1.2 billion people and growing will more believe in Muhammad who could not read or write than the universe outside of the window. Why, why would you allow anyone is the point. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm against all religions and denominations because the universe, I want to show you the universe is beyond all religions and denominations. Hinduism, you've got 785 million. Buddhism, 360 million. Judaism. And Judaism doesn't even... even it's not even real. Because if you're going to talk about Judah, you're going to talk about being a Hebrew. And if you're going to talk about being a Hebrew, you're going to talk about being African. In Africa. And all religions and denominations got all of their writings and their beliefs and their, their thoughts from Africa, Africa. Do you believe me? Watch this. It says, therefore, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Okay? Wise words, right? All things, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I like this because it says anonymous. When really it's just wise teachings, but if you change the word, watch this, if you change the word and say, therefore if any man be in the creator, not Christ, not a mythical Christ, the creator of the new universe that we can see from our window, that we can stand on the ground, on the earth, and look up, and it's always there. Would you rather believe in something that is always there than something that you have to work out and hope might be right? The Christ might be real, might not be real, or might be real? And hope on that and bet on that and risk all your days on, of your life on earth believing in a Buddha belly, a Buddha belly or a pink white Jesus or someone who cannot read or write. Would you really, really want to spend all your life 30, 40, 50 years or 80 years believing in something that you might not understand is not true. It's man-made religion. I have chosen not to do that anymore. I'm going with the facts. I'm going with the universe. I know where things have come from. You have to go back to things that are the oldest human DNA, the oldest of solar power, of pyramids, of architecture, of mathematics, of biology, of science. And that is Africa, Africa. And if you notice, everything to do with Africa, queens and kings, royal dynasties, people.
They always try to rewrite that narrative. These Westerners, these Europeans. The first slave ship was called the Good Jesus. For a reason. To enslave you. With the Good Jesus. And the Good Jesus don't even exist as a person. But they want to rewrite the narratives of rich, royal, real kings and queens of Africa, Africa. To the point that even people of color will look at this image here and it means nothing to them. But they will take the image of a white, pink Jesus and believe it. Or they will take the image of Muhammad who could not read or write and believe it. Or they will take the image of Buddha belly or Krishna. Come on now. When you are born with your mind, your soul, your spirit that is inside your body. Tell me if someone can teach you how to embrace the new universe, how to take all the real history that they're still excavating kings and queens of Africa and Africa. Africa, which is not Egypt, it's Kemet, Nubia, Sudan. South Africa, Kenya, Botswana, Bantu people, Yoruba people, Nigeria, Zulu. Why do you think all this history is there? And you're thinking to yourself, what is, has this got to do with the universe? It has a lot to do with the universe because I'm trying to show you that the center of the earth and the Garden of Eden is Afu Raka. And notice the Ra in the middle of Afu Raka, as they call Africa. Notice Ra in the middle of Prey. Notice Ra in the middle of praise. Because Ra, when you do the research, is the oldest name of the Creator. And without Ra and Afo Raka, you would not have 99.9% .9 of what you think you know. Not even a cross, not even a religion, not even an alphabet, not even mathematics. You wouldn't have these things. You wouldn't have architecture. Go do the research. And when you say Amun Ra, you're saying Amen. Amun is Amen. And I said, Ra is in the middle of prey. Ra is in the middle of praise. You even have Ra as rainbow. Ra as rain. Time. In 2020 with 2020 vision, it's time to do things new. All things have passed away. This is latter rain time. This is not a time of religions and denominations. It's not a time of religions and denominations. It's not a time of choosing which social club or bingo club you're going to belong to. I'm over that. And even in my family and my friends, I had to make the stand to be different. I had to make the stand to say, listen, I'm not believing in no pink, white Jesus no more. I'm over that. I want 
what is original. I want what is original. I want what, where all the, the, the alphabet and mathematics and the biologies and the, the science and solar systems and the architecture and excavations with facts that they're still digging up kings and queens right now. Royal kings and queens. That taught the entire world about kings and queens. That taught them about palaces and dynasties. And pantheons. And gods and goddesses. Cannot you see in these ancient and oldest human DNA artifacts? Here is their alphabet. It's not just pretty drawings, it's alphabet systems. And they have cutlery. They have gold. They have, this is a boat right here. This is their afterlife and, and, and understanding, embracing the universe. It's not just pretty pictures. It's them understanding what the, the heavens and how the heavens and the cosmos and the universe and the creator all works as one on a daily basis. And right here you will see that they, they're literally probably using these boats and, 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 and paddles that you call paddles now, but they would call them probably rods to sail. And live with the Nile and live with the floodings and have the pyramids and storehouses that they've, they've rewritten the Bible and put in floods and put in curses and put in all kinds of um, crazy narratives and lies and myths and deceptions to actually turn you against what you're seeing right now on your screen. See, they don't want you to believe in what you see on your screen. They want you to believe what they put in their version of the Bible. This ain't no version of the Bible. This is original. 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 Okay? Original. These are real kings and queens. Real kings and queens with storehouses no exodus there was no exodus in the bible none i've done a video on that there was no exodus they want you to believe the exodus they want to believe that yes the white pink god came and the lord came and the christ came the white pink christ came not the creator the white pink Christ, the Lord. That's why they call him Lord. And Lord is an English word, right? The same way you had the first slave ship out of the UK for a reason called the good Jesus. And they want to tell you that this is evil and this is wicked. No, this is royalty. This is your history. This is what you need to learn and know and teach your children. This is more than black lives matter. This is all lives matter. The real all lives matter of the creator. This is spiritual. This is not religious or denominational. This is not no one hour bingo to go buy the pastor or the bishop a new plane or a new uh, another house or another Rolls Royce or Bentley while the people in his own congregation are starving, especially in this COVID pandemic time. When will Africa, Afuraka, arise and understand you are the original kings and queens of this entire world throughout all generations, throughout every single century? Of human civilization. The oldest human DNA comes out of South Africa. 
the history of the Banta people, the Yoruba people, the Zulu people, the Khoisan people. It's rich. Come on. It's time for you to embrace what the Creator has created originally. And you can use your mind, your soul, your spirit and communicate with the Creator every second of the day. It will take mindfulness. It will take meditation. It will take you being still. It will take a lot of things that where you think being busy in the world is being effective, it will teach you the opposite. Being still. Being in meditation. Being in, being in solitude and silence is actually how you connect. Nothing greater, there's nothing greater than having two people sit and really believe in solitude and silence. Just hold each other. Don't say a word. Embrace each other and, and decide to stand with each, with each other no matter what you face. This is love. Real love. Just like the story of Job when they really, I don't think there was a Job. I just think that it's a good lesson or teaching of a person probably called Job. It was more likely a, an African king that went through the life of Job. They got it from some hieroglyph or papyrus. So they twist the narratives to make it themselves look intelligent. When there is no intelligence in any religion or denomination. Because it's man-made buffoonery. Designed to make the Catholic Church and the Vatican rich. When they, if you look at the Vatican Church and the Catholics, where, where have they learned all their rods and staffs? Look at this, right here. Right here. It shows you. Where have they learned to sit upon royalty and, 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 and altars and wear crowns? See? Right here. Right here. Okay? And they wear, they wear the same sort of hats. If you notice, right here. Okay? And create their pantheons. It's all right here. All right here. That's where they learned everything they, they want you to believe. But they don't want it of Africa or black history, brown history. They want it of pink and white history. If you notice right here, again, this, this is original of the Garden of Eden. This is original right here. And they've copied all of these, even the fashion of the hats. You notice the Pope ways of hat like this? Have you noticed that? They're digging up tombs and graves. Of kings and queens. Of Africa. Africa. And they call it Egypt. And they want to paint. You're going to look at these images right here in the wall. You're going to tell me that this is a, a, a pink or white person. Come on now. And even. even yet most people of Africa. Africa. And the, 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 the Latin Americans. will bow down to not images of their own but images and western images of myths and deception and false narratives isn't that interesting 
People in Africa don't even. And I'm an Indian lance. The Red Indians, they call Red Indians of America. That is, a, those are the, those are original Americans, man. Original Americans. I am an Indians. The original people of the Caribbean, I am an Indians. There's no such thing as a Trinidadian and a Jamaican and Saint Lucian. And Barbadian, come on now. Yo, I'm Indians. Go do the research. And I'm Indians are connected to Africa. Right? Anyone with any common sense knows that when you take a person of color, once you sleep with a person of color, it's not it's not a white person that's going to change someone who's brown and dark brown. Are you with me? It's going to be someone who's brown and dark brown or light brown that's going to change pink and white. And you're not even white. Because you can grab a sheet of paper and prove it. You're more pink than white. Including Donald Trump. Okay. I'm going to end this video right now. But I want to say that. Right now. In 2020, as we come to the end of 2020, and the election has just been decided, and Joe Biden has beaten MAGA, racist, bipolar. Lying, cheating, fraudster, Trump. And that is good news. And we have to understand that the new universe is what is in control. As we move forward into 2021, embrace the new universe. Try to learn and understand and align yourself and everything you do with the universe more than any religion or denomination. The universe, not man made religions and denomination. The universe, the universe. Let us start to appreciate the universe. Let us start to appreciate the creator of the universe. Let us start to appreciate that the creator has kingdom. He has his kingdom. And that's why you have all these original knowledge, wisdom and understanding of what real embrace of the universe is all about. That's why they built the pyramids, which was solar power, the first solar power system, connected to the sun, connected to the cosmos, connected to the universe. They were trying to show you that you must understand the universe to understand yourself. You must understand the universe to understand who you are. Don't believe in man-made religions and denominations. Don't believe in political parties or anything of the world. That's why 1 John 2, 15, 17 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Otherwise, the love of the Father, which is the Creator, is not in you. Everything must point back to the Creator. 
when they've written those Bibles and man-made versions of the Bible, and there was no J in the first King James Bible of 1611, go look at it online. They gave you false narratives. They called people of color beasts and animals. Savages. Lazy. Uneducated. And all of that is a lie. And they still call them that today in America. They still call them that today in, across Africa. They still call them that today in the UK. They still call them that today in Spain. They still call them that today in France. They still call them that today in Germany. They still call them that today in Holland. They still call them that today in the Netherlands. They still call them that today in Belgium. They still call them that today in Cyprus. They still call them that today in Greece. They even call them that in Kemet, Egypt, Africa, where the very pyramids stand and tourism is booming for people to come visit. And they're still excavating kings and queens now of Giza. And Memphis, the original Memphis is Africa, not in the United States of America. Yet they still call them niggers, savages, beasts, thugs. They're, they're kings and queens. Just because you're ignorant and you don't understand your history and you don't understand where they've come from, they are kings and queens of original bloodline of Africa, kings and queens of the first dynasties of Africa, the first languages, mathematics, architecture, cutlery, fashion, alphabet. Even knowledge of all religions, all religions. If you're on YouTube, please leave your comments. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell not notification. Thank you for listening, Cyber Reverend.